I wanted to talk about that's pretty heartbreaking is this news courtesy of Sky News man really really heartbreaking rapper Pai Silu jailed over a brawl that erupted after his friend stabbed to death the Brit was normally sentenced to two charges violent disorder and possessing a bottle as an offensive weapon really really heartbreaking news man this kid is going to be in jail for a couple of years man bang your doors Pai Silu bang your doors so the story goes as follows the rapper Pai Silu has been jailed for his part in an attack on a lone victim shortly after his best friend was fatally stabbed the Salu a Brit Awards of nominee who has been named the BBC Sounds, um, who was named the, who was named the BBC Sound of 2021, was jailed for two years and nine months in relation to attacking Coventry Town Centre four years ago. Imagine having a case like that hanging over your head for four years, and then you get jailed for two years, nearly three years for this offence. Absolutely nonsense. In the early hours of September 1st, 2018, a fight broke out near a nightclub, which resulted in Salu's friend, Fidel Glasgow, 21, being fatally stabbed, so he died, a death over which nobody has faced any charges. Salu was part of a group of men who chased another man from the scene. That man, a 23-year-old, was eventually cornered and attacked by the group and later needed emergency surgery and 10 days recovery in a hospital salu 25 admitted violent disorder after being caught on cctv hitting the victim with a tree branch a number of times so he gets into some sort of scuffle or skirmish with another group of guys um, unfortunately his friend succumbs to his injuries and dies and in the melee they then chase after one of the assailants that is in that group i'd imagine to corner him because i think they probably couldn't clock who uh, you know ended up kind of giving the final death blow to his friend and they cornered him so they could kind of you know get one of those guys back you beat the guy up close to an inch of his life i'm assuming he was in the for 10 days but he's alive he's not dead and you go to jail for two years and nine months that's a piss take in my opinion that's a piss take unless he had other charges already on his docket unless he was on a warning or something because maybe there's more to the story than meets the eye this doesn't make any sense how can your friend die in the again it's different i guess it'd be different if it was premeditated for instance your friend dies in a fight and then the guys run away but then you see the guy next day at a club or something or in a shop and then you go and try and you know beat him up or smoke him of course then that would maybe change the charge but if in the melee, if in the actual event that is going on where your friend gets rushed, you then chase away the assailants, you corner one of them and you beat them up, uh, but they don't die as well. They, they're severely injured, don't get me wrong, it doesn't matter, you know, because of course you're going to do that to protect your friend and to obviously get some get back and revenge. And then you're going to prison for two years. That's insane. That's legitimately insane hopefully he's he's on those kind of sentences that mean like if you do a certain amount of years you get released on good behavior or something but from what i've seen so far this is a ridiculous sentence the man 23 was eventually cornered and attacked by the group and later needed emergency surgery and 10 days of recovery in hospital um Saturday 25 okay, I was read already he was acquitted in March on second violent charge uh, relating to the earlier brawl that had resulted in the death of Mr Glasgow so he got acquitted for that charge because I guess they couldn't maybe find the evidence to pin that he actually did do it but I guess because there's CCTV of him hitting the guy with a branch that's why maybe they prosecuted him or other bits of evidence fair enough but it was convicted but he was convicted of possessing a bottle as an offensive weapon telling jurors at Warwick Crown County that he had smashed and brandished it to defend himself so oh my god man how can you get rushed by a group of guys pick up a bottle from the floor smash it and kind of ward them off and kind of you know use it as a flipping sharp object to warn them to come near you then in uh in the aftermath of that same event go and chase one of the assailants down corner him beat him up he's still alive and then get two years this makes no sense especially if this is kind of a self-defense thing if like they were just minding their business and then another crew came along antagonized them started the beef they, they kind of defended themselves because that guy's, those guys were attacking them and then it resulted in one of their friends dying and then they go to prison. It's like, what? If I to take offense, Salu's barrister, Jonathan Wodick, sorry, Jonathan Woodcock said Salu had used a stick rather than a branch and it was not easy to determine how many blows he had delivered. It is very ineffective. So it's a very unattractive uh, offense. Of course it is, says Miss Woodcock. It is not, he is not involved in bringing the victim to the floor. He does not have he does not make an effort to keep another defendant away it's to his credit that he does that no so he does make an effort to keep another victim. okay cool so i guess he was doing something but he was also making sure his friends didn't go too far by the sounds of it he does make an effort to keep another defendant away it's to his credit that he does that he was not party to most of the serious aspects of the violence 
What happened to Mr. Fido could have happened to anyone in the melee. Judge uh, Peter Cook told Selu, a number, uh, anyone harboring the view that you are a young man being hard done by should pause to reflect that despite having a conviction of for carrying a knife three years earlier, which resulted in a suspended sentence in the course of these events, you used two bottles and a stick. Ah, okay. That makes more sense why you got there. Okay. I guess they're using that as a cause that he didn't learn his lesson and he was involved in some sort of melee. I don't know. I, I still think this is insane, personally for me. This still doesn't make any sense. It was your intention to turn the bottle into a jagged weapon. Um, Judge Cook said Salu and others had acted like a mob, adding that if you had, if you do that to somebody, it's likely to end up seriously injured or dead. Well, they didn't end up dead. They're seriously injured, of course, because they killed his friend, for goodness sake. What happened to Fidel could have happened to anyone in a melee, but it didn't it happen to him. This judge is a prick. He added, I want you to focus on getting your life back on track. Well, thanks, isn't it? Give me two years. Thanks. Coming out and making the most of your talents, which I trust to me that you will be able to do. Yeah, how can you trust that? You have no you have no guarantee that he's going to go in there and be okay. He could go in there and get flipping absorbed by the wrong group. He could go in there with frustration, with resentment in his heart and succumb to things that he probably didn't want to and come out a completely different person. Hopefully I don't I hope that doesn't happen, but this is not something that you could just bounce back from. He's not going to a fucking, you know, youth offenders con you know, concentration place or whatever, maybe your correction center. He's going to a legit prison with actual males and adults and shit. This is nonsense. I have no difficulty accepting you are a young man who has already um, suffered impacts of your career by virtue of these proceedings. The judge Cooks also said he was taking into account that Sally had been close to Mr. Glasgow and that he had made a laudable efforts to help people from disadvantaged backgrounds. I think this is a nonsense case personally for me. He doesn't deserve to be in prison for that long. I guess because in the UK we don't maybe have self-defense laws or something. I don't really know too much about you know the law when it comes to violent offenses and what deems what and if you got convicted because i guess if you got a suspended sentence that does basically equate to you kind of being out on remand or bail and it? it's kind of the same thing right you're out on bail condition so if you got suspended sentence you're probably not meant to get in trouble for a period of time and maybe he did it within that period of time so hence why he maybe have got some added time on top of it but i still think two years and nine months for getting some get back on somebody that legitimately killed your friend in front of your eyes and that person not dying and you making an effort to make sure that person didn't die is absolutely crazy to me in my honest opinion because he could have joined that rabid kind of mob that they're talking about and just kind of went crazy on the guy but he by all accounts was pulling some of his friends back stopping them from going too crazy and it still led to him essentially losing two years of his career for this absolute nonsense but i guess the only one silver lining of it is that for sure this won't happen again He's at that age where he probably can. Hmm, that's probably you can't really say that, don't it? He's twenty five. There's new rappers popping up every single day. Just the other day, I saw a clip on Shade Borough of this guy called Jay Silver, who I didn't really know too tough about, who said he maybe failed in his career because he had a moment and then kind of disappeared and didn't really make the most of it. You don't know in it really when it comes to music. I guess it would have been beneficial if this happened during the COVID. If, if you were sentenced during COVID and he went in, that's one thing because everything's closed down. By the time you come out, everyone else is coming out. But to stay in this time and then, you know, in the interim that he's gone, Jay has popped up again. You know, it kind of changes the whole dynamic of his appeal in terms of what he does and their kind of similarish sounds or whatnot. Maybe the looks, I don't really know. But yeah, either way, really, really unfortunate situation. Bang your doors, Pasilu. You did not deserve to go down for two and a half years, in my opinion. That's all, more than two and a half years. That's absolutely crazy and egregious sentence. But hopefully, this is a turning point and a fork in the road for you where you can start doing the right things when you come out because that kid's way too talented to be throwing you all away like that, in my opinion.